Today is Saturday, October 10th, and here at Lake Mead, we are going to see a fabulous flight of the model of Howard Hughes's H4 Hercules, the Spruce Goose. Lake Mead is man-made from the construction of Hoover Dam, completed in 1935. Lake Mead is one of the largest artificial lakes in the world in volume. It is 115 miles long and has a 550 mile shoreline. This morning the Meyer brothers who built the H4 Hercules model along with their pilot John Elliott will demonstrate their intestinal fortitude on getting this huge 18 and a half foot airplane airborne. can see by the size of the aircraft the reason for having a spruce goose flight crew of at least six. It is 120th scale, the wingspan is 18 and a half feet and is powered by eight 61s. The total weight is 80 pounds with an onboard ignition system powered by a 12 volt motorcycle battery. Right here. 
Look closely on this next approach and notice three engines are dead on the starboard wing and the fourth also dies. When he touches down, he will have landed with only three engines running on the port wing. A super flight. Did it. It's a standard for Tata radio. Yeah, the special transmitter is the one for the throttle that the Tata built for the Myers brothers. That's the one you want to catch. That's the one that's got the throttle control on. Right. I play the flight controls, rudder, elevator, ailerons, and landing flaps. He flies the four throttles. Four throttles. Each throttle controls two engines, like he had, as if he was flying a B-17. Throttle one controls engine one and two. Throttle two controls engines three and four, and so on. I call power settings to Daryl. He handles the throttle. We go fly. We have fun. Well, my pleasure and our pleasure. For candid camera? Pardon? Are, you on, are we on candid camera? No. no. Uh, Would you explain that uh, for me and, and sort of hold it up? Okay, sure. Go ahead, too. This transmitter, transmitter was designed by myself and built custom for us by Glenn Toma Futaba. It's a linear slide. Obviously, this is operating a pair of, uh, controls each pair of engines by a one servo motor for each pair located inside the wing. Some of these guys want some pictures of all the team team together. I'm sorry, go ahead. Okay. Talking uh, training. Obviously, we're driving it like a bomber at this point with the uh, preset top end at 12,000. Uh, what? I, 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 I,
Yes, this is engine one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We pre-index, we dial the top at 12,000, the bottom at 3,500, and we set mid-range at 85 and 6,000. So John can call whatever power settings he wants, and that's what we deliver. Oh, yeah, they got it. Yeah, the first was kind of quick. 3,500 miles. Well, we're honored. How'd you hear about it? Because they all died at the same time. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, that doesn't make sense because... Gerald? Okay. Oh, you want to back up? Okay, let's have a crew around here for some pictures. Hey, wait a minute. Take a look. Take a look. Now we can... Bring it all the way up to the flight. Budweiser. Yes. <laughs> Come out of the flyers model airplane. All it gives me is a light beer. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Stay in the sun, John. Yes, yes, Daryl. <laughs> Have to keep my daddy in the shade. Play with <laughs> Stick. The control stick? Yeah. Yeah. Tell her to there come on over. We get one of them. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, Girls mode. That was the um, end of their flight. As you can see, it was a super flight. Uh, well worth the trip out uh, to see it. Uh, incidentally, in the November 1981 issue of Flying Models, they have a very good coverage of both the model and the real H4 Hercules Spruce Goose. Now we're going back to Las Vegas. Uh, the wind has picked up, but we hope to see some more good flying.